Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to zoom in and out with our minimap as you can see here in the top left corner using the two different projection types so there is autographic and perspective so we're going to see how to zoom with both of them so let's jump right into it the first thing we have to do is going on project setting and select our uh, action mapping I mean create our action mapping so go to project setting we're going to go to input and here we're going to create two action mapping so press twice on the plus here and we're going to create, create create zoom out and zoom out I want to be minus on my keyboard so I'm going to put minus key and I'm going to create zoom in and this one would be the plus on my keyboard and I'm going to create two action uh, mapping as well and I'm going to call it exactly the same name so zoom out and it's going to be minus on my keyboard and zoom in which is going to be plus on my keyboard so go back to our third person character blueprint or open it so it's in the uh, folder here blueprint and third person character so when we're here we need to uh, create a logic to be able to zoom in and out so there's two um, there's two way to do that and you can only use you know pressing each time the key which I think it's already inconvenient or when you hold the key it's gonna zoom automatically for us so I prefer the holding the key because it's faster and it's look better so let's do that so we're gonna call our uh, zoom and we're gonna need the uh, access event so we're gonna start with zoom out and we're gonna do that once again but we're going to take the action even zoom out so from that it's really really simple so this it's kind of get when we're going to press it's going to open the gate for us so we're going to search for gate i'm using a gate because the gate when it's open is going to trigger each time which is going to automatically zoom for us so it's going to open when we press and it's going to close when we release so the access mapping it's doing when you hold you're going to enter and it's going to be triggered each time so as long as you hold it it's going to keep that gate open and at the same time the same key because we press will zoom for us and when we release it's mean that we release the zoom out for the access and the action so it's going to close that gate so it's not going to trigger anymore the code behind so here we're going to take our scene capture component that we have here and from that we're going to drag from that and we're just going to search for horto i'm going to take the width here so just take that and we're going to add something to this so we'll just search for plus or tap add and here it's the amount that you want to zoom in and out each time so i'm gonna put 100 you can put the number you want uh, but i'm gonna put 100 because i want it to be quick so from that we're gonna search for clamp as you remember a clamp is just to make sure we don't go below or over a certain value so it's why we put a clamp otherwise the player will be able to zoom out forever or zoom in forever so the minimum will be 10 24 and the maximum will be let's say uh, 248 so I put those two number because in the scene capture here as you remember that the maximum number that I put here so if I want to change this number I will have to change this one as well so we are doing the autographic uh, weight this time and right after I'm going to show you the perspective one so from this we're just going to drag from our uh, capture component here and we're just going to set our orto so orto I don't know exactly how do you pronounce that so let's connect this to the exit like this and make sure that we plug the clamp to it so we have the first one done so when we press 
it's going to zoom out for us. So now we want to zoom in. So we're going to take our two zoom once again. So we're going to start by the uh, in, so the axis in, and we're going to take the zoom in for the action in. Like this, get that a little bit picky. So I made to place that correctly on the line. So now we can just copy paste all this. So let's enter the gate when we open the gate and when we release the gate. So now we just have to change this because when we zoom in, we don't want to go out, we want to go in. So we're just going to remove this and search for subtract. And we're going to put the exact same number. So I'm going to put 100 and we're going to put that right here. We're going to compile that. So now if we save, and we go play. If you press on your keyboard, you can see zooming in and out. So it's exactly how you do this. Now let's see how to do the other way with perspective. So let's go back to that. And it's very, very similar. Uh, so, but I'm going to change it now so you can see it. So let's go to the scene capture. I'm going to change that for perspective and compile. So if I go back to play, when I press my key, you're doing it's nothing, it's doing absolutely nothing. And you can see that now we can see the 3D object. So we have to change the code a little bit. So it's very, very similar. So instead of using the scene capture component, um, we're going to take the spring arm. You take the spring arm and with the spring arm, we're just going to search for the uh, target lane or target whatever you call that so target arm link and we're going to do exactly the same as here so we're going to copy those two here and plug it right there but instead of setting the ortho we're going to set the target link so let's drag from this and set the target arm link and now we're just going to take the gate to this instead so we're going to copy and make sure that we get the return value to it. So we're going to copy paste all that. I'm going to put it right there. And we're just going to plug it right here. But instead of the plus, we're going to have to put a minus. So I'm just going to copy paste this, remove this one and plug it right there. So now if you do compile and play, you can zoom out and zoom in. So we can play with those number. Obviously, if you want to zoom a little bit more, we're going to have to change that number here. So I'm going to put that for a thousand here to make it work a little bit better and 2000. And let's do the same up here. So let's change that for a thousand and 2000. Compile and save. And now, zoom in, zoom out. I want to zoom closer, so the minimum. Let's put, I don't know, 500. Oh, no, not this one, wrong one. Let's put 500 in this one. And same thing here, we're gonna put 500. And let's see what it's doing for us can zoom way out and way in. So it's exactly how you do a boat type. So with perspective and with orthographic. So I'm going to put back to orthographic because it's the way I prefer. So let's do that now. So yeah, so that's pretty much how you zoom in and out with your minima. And it's exactly the same process uh, if you want to zoom directly with your character. Uh, so instead of using this code here, you're going to use this one here for your character. But instead of using the spring arm of the minimap, you're going to use the camera boom instead. And it's going to do exactly the same thing. So we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.